You knew him, didn't you? It's actually, I'm just here in a personal capacity. Luke drove to his house at 4.30, killed his family, then headed here to kill himself. You're convinced he did it. What do you think? What are you doing back in our town, boy? So you've heard some stories about me. A girl who died in a river 20 years ago. I need a suspect. Put them under enough pressure and they just crawl. Hi, guys welcome to Weekend Movies channel. This time we have collected 10 thrillers released in 2021. Today among the best movies of 2021, there were a number of thrillers that put audiences on the edge of their seats. So let's not waste any time and begin. Number 10. Wrong Turn. Backwoods terror and never jangling suspense meet L when Jen and a group of friends set out to hike the Appalachian Trail. Despite warnings to stick to the trail, the hikers stray off course and cross into land inhabited by the Foundation, a hidden community of mountain dwellers who use deadly means to protect their way of life. Suddenly under siege, Jen and her friends seem headed to the point of no return unless Jen's father can reach them in time. An effective movie, well done, and taken down a different path. Number 9. Silk Road. Inspired by larger-than-life actual events, this riveting crime thriller follows the rise and fall of Silk Road, the infamous darknet site that sent a seismic shock through the World Wide Web. Young, idealistic, and driven to succeed, Ross Ulbricht creates the Internet's first unregulated marketplace, Silk Road. But when it becomes a multi-million dollar pipeline for illicit drugs, Ross is set on a collision course with Rick Bowden, a disreputable and dangerously unpredictable DA agent who will use any means necessary to take him down. Number 8. Fear of Rain. As a person living with schizophrenia, one of Rain Burroughs' everyday struggles is identifying which of the disturbing images she sees, disembodied voices she hears, and traumatic feelings she experiences are real and which are not. One day, however, she notices shadows and distressed cries from their neighbor's attic. She tells this to her parents, but they dismiss it as a fragment of her imagination. Unrelenting, she enlists the help of Caleb to uncover the truth. The entire cast give impeccable performances in this psychological thriller with stunning cinematography. Number 7. I Care A Lot. Legal conservator Marla Grayson, together with her partner Fran, operates a business that assumes guardianship over elderly individuals. Marla and Fran use their business to con their ailing clients out of large sums of money. However, their plans quickly begin to unravel when their latest target, Jennifer, seems to understand more than the duo initially gave her credit for. Pike gives a fabulous performance as Marla, elevating her beyond caricature or negative stereotypes. Marla is one of the most morally reprehensible anti-heroes that we have seen on screen in a long time. Number 6. Boss Level. Trapped in a time loop that constantly repeats the day of his murder, former Special Forces agent, Roy Pulver uncovers clues about a secret government project that could unlock the mystery behind his untimely death. In a race against the clock, Pulver must hunt down Colonel Venter, the powerful head of the government program, while outrunning skilled ruthless assassins determined to keep him from the truth in order to break out of the loop, save his family and live once again for tomorrow. The charismatic supporting player, Frank Grillo, takes center stage in this entertaining time loop thriller. Number 5. Army of the Dead. After a zombie outbreak in Las Vegas, a group of mercenaries take the ultimate gamble and venture into the quarantine zone in hopes of pulling off an impossible heist. Army of the Dead is a touch too long, but thanks to aggressive action, Snyder's zombie epic entertains. Army of the Dead manages to provide ample escapism for a two and a half hour zombie movie. Number 6. 
Number 4. A Quiet Place Part 2. Following the deadly events at home, the Abbott family must now face the terrors of the outside world, as they continue their fight for survival in silence. Forced to venture into the unknown, they quickly realize that the creatures that hunt by sound are not the only threats that lurk beyond the sand path. The Abbott's venture into the unknown in a meticulously crafted monster movie that leaves us wanting more. Number 3. Riders of Justice. Riders of Justice follows recently deployed Marcus, who is forced to return home to care for his teenage daughter after his wife is killed in a tragic train accident. But when a survivor of the wrecked train surfaces claiming foul play, Marcus begins to suspect his wife was murdered and embarks on a revenge-fueled mission to find those responsible. Suffused with character-driven comedy and not avoiding elements of violence, this is an outstanding film. Number 2. Nobody. While walking late one evening, ordinary man Hutch Mansell witnesses an incident of street harassment that continues to escalate in danger for the young female victim. Hutch then takes it upon himself to intervene and aid the distressed woman. Yet unbeknownst to him, his actions put him on a dangerous path of vengeance with a notorious drug lord as Hutch stood between him and his schemes. Nobody is an arresting action showcase for star Bob Odenkirk and a skillfully staged spectacle of stunt work, nearly on par with the John Wick trilogy. Number 1. The Dry. It takes federal agent Aaron Falk 20 years to return to his hometown, and it is because Luke, one of his childhood friends, has died. Luke has killed himself after murdering his family, falling victim to the madness that is going through their area, after a decade of drought. As Fox stays to investigate the case, he opens up an old wound, the death of Ellie. He realizes that a connection can be made between the two crimes, but as he does, he finds himself needing to prove not only Luke's, but also his innocence. An enthralling drama, perfectly paced, the mystery unfolds so methodically that it keeps its viewer enthralled. Well this is it, thanks for watching share your movie impressions in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and put the big thumbs up see you, bye!